Over the first 100 days, I built up this cottagecore horse ranch and started exploring the swam horse mod, but there's still so much left to discover, so I'm gonna survive another 100 days in this world with the goal to make this the ultimate horse base. We're back in our beautiful cottagecore horse world, and I'm so excited to get to 200 days on this one. We've already done so much over the first 100 days, like building the stable and my beautiful starter house, but there's still so much to explore with all the horses. And I have a ton of fun build ideas. Also, why is there poo in my inventory? That's so gross. On this first day 101, I just want to reconnect with my horse friends, especially Millie, and take her on a little ride out into the wild. I mean, the last time we rode, we fell into a cave. But this time that isn't going to happen because one of my goals for the 200 days is to bond with Millie until she is fully bonded and trust me. So I want to bring all these stats here to the max, which means Millie and I got a lot of writing to do. But before we can get into all the building and training, there's one big thing I never really did during the first 100 days, and that is officially give my horses a name. They have a name on the sign, but they don't have a name tag assigned to them. Because I was lazy and didn't want to trade with villagers, I mean nothing. I know we have one name tag in here, so we can start with Millie. And let's get it. And name. Oh my gosh, now when we walk up to her, we're gonna see her name. And what is really cool is that you can see her name in the stats menu now. I love this horse. But now how about we ride Millie over to the villager area and look into getting some more name tags. And also another thing I desperately need. Hello, stinky villagers. You all smell. I want to imprison one of these guys. I mean, um, give you guys a job. I hope they didn't hear me say imprison. So I just awkwardly stood around the village until it got darker and the villagers went to bed. Look at this guy sleeping. Look at this guy imprisoned in his own house. <laughs> and now the trading begins. Wait, he already has a job. One moment, Mr. Villager. I just need to uh, get you fired. Let me just break all of these. And now we gotta give that guy a new job, which means we need to get a lectern, which I totally didn't make, so I have to go back to my base and get it. And now we make a bookshelf and lectern. There we go. Oh, villager. I'm back. Did you miss me? Oh, he hates me. He's so mad at me. And get employed. Yes. No. And so I fired and gave the villager a job over and over and over again because I didn't just need a name tag trade. I also wanted mending books because my tools are going to break at some point and I really don't want to worry about that. So mending is the perfect solution. Please give me mending. Please. Please. I hate you. Please. I hope you die in lava. And after already spending a whole day arguing with the villager, I finally got the mending book on day 103. We have mending! Okay, we gotta lock this trade. Good thing I brought some sugar cane. Okay, good. It's locked. It's locked. He's safe. I love you, villager. You smell. And I think I don't want to grind out these villager trades right here in this village. I want to bring this guy back home to my horse ranch. Let's quickly make a boat out of the blocks I just stole from this house. Totally not visible. And then we just make this guy go in this boat. And after a really long and boring journey with the villager humming in my ears, we finally made it. Okay, now let's park the villager over here for now. And now let's get Millie because I left her in the village. I'm getting a little bit distracted, but I just had the idea to make a little path going to the village so I know where to ride my horse on. One day of making a path later. There's just a creeper chilling with the donkey and my horse. <laughs> ah! No. Bye, creeper. Get wrecked. Of course, Millie has pooped exactly where I want to put my path. How could she? And I connected my path up to the already existing villager path. And now we can take Millie home on our new road. Now, before the grind for mending and name tags can begin, I think we're going to make some sort of home for this guy. And I got a little bit of a silly idea for this villager house. And for that, I'm going to need redstone. I'm also going to need a bunch of quartz. And this is the only quartz I got. So let's hope with a fortune pick, this is going to give me a lot. And a few minutes of crafting redstone components later. And now we can use this redstone to make a farm but let's first find a good spot to build this somewhere near my enchanting table would be good because it's gonna go well together because i'm gonna make a sugarcane farm so i can do easy trading with the villager and somehow put the villager in the sugarcane farm or something okay why don't we put it right here we just gotta clear out this forest okay i marked out the spot for the tiny tiny baby sugarcane farm so now let's first add the collection chest with the hopper going into it and then some blocks around it and then a water stream. And then we just plant the sugar cane on top of here. And I put some water in stairs behind it because without water, it won't place on this block. Oh great, now there's water coming from the sky. I hate the rain. Now let's add all the complicated redstone stuff to this farm. Wait, a zombie just came here. Oh my gosh, I have the perfect idea. Come on zombie, follow me. Oh, it's a thunderstorm. That's why there's a zombie. 
Oh, it already happened without me even getting the zombie over. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I want the villager to turn to the zombie. Okay, I boxed him in just to be sure. Also, I'm kind of off and left my horses in the rain. Whoops. And now we just hide indoors because thunderstorms are scary mob spawn during the day. But instead of being scared indoors, I think I'm gonna try and figure out how to make a potion to cure the villager. Okay, let's make a golden apple. And we also need to make a potion of weakness to cure the villager. But to make that, I need a fermented spider. I have those too, but I don't have brown mushrooms. So I'm gonna have to go to a dark oak forest to get some. I hate this. And now let's go and take Millie on a little mushroom finding adventure. Oh my gosh, I've been here like almost a hundred days ago and all this stuff still hasn't despawned. That's so funny. And here are the mushrooms I need. And now let's run away. So on day 108, I got to work and made a potion of weakness. And one piece of gunpowder to make it a splash potion. And now let's cure this evil villager. Hello. Get wrecked. Get appled. And this villager is gonna take ages to cure. So while he does that, I'm just gonna keep working on my sugarcane farm. I already added some observers and redstone connecting it to the pistons. So when the sugarcane grows up to the observers, the pistons will push it down into the water stream. But monsters like to spawn on this farm, so we gotta light it up using jack-o'-lanterns. Special kinds of jack-o'-lanterns. Let's quickly shear those and add some torches. And now we put them in here because there are different kinds of textures. So one is gonna be like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks so stupid. Another one of these here. And this one in the middle. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's like, oh, woo. Oh, woo. I'm a little pumpkin. Okay, that was weird. I was gathering a ton of spruce wood on day 109 while I was waiting for the villager to be cured. Yay, he's cured! And his traits are so cheap now. I actually cured him twice because at first the menu book wasn't just one emerald, it was still 11 and it was horrible. So now he's double cured and he can stay in this box because I still need to finish the sugarcane farm. I placed on some barrels where I want the corners of the house to be so it wraps around this farm really nicely and I would just need to add some spruce pillars. And I also want to put a giant glass wall so I can still see the uwu face and the sugarcane farm. So Millie and I are gonna quickly go over to a desert and let's quickly get all of the sand. This is so satisfying. And you know what Millie just did? She leveled up her speed to the max. So this is the fastest she can ride, but we still need to work on her jumping skills because she really hates jumping and is terrible at it. Sorry, Millie. So now let's basically fill in this entire wall with glass. So we have a lovely viewing window for the farm. I also added a really cute wall on this side with a little window and decorated it. And now we're just gonna put a roof on this thing and I think I'm gonna use some dark oak for this one and maybe some oak too. Let's just bring a roof trim all the way across here. And then we just connect these two roof parts up together using slabs like this. And then we just add oak wood to the middle. Okay, that's the sugarcane farm house done. But we still need a place for the villager to live. So I'm thinking we attach another building to this one. Okay, so we have a little enclosure here. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the villager like an animal. I'm so terrible. All it needs is a little roof out of trapdoors and slabs and maybe some leaves. And I think I'm also gonna add some campfires, but of course extinguished, because they look really cute on this roof. Okay, this looks amazing. And now let's add some lighting to this. And of course the lectern for the villager. I added some fences and leaves to enclose this a bit more and this is looking so lovely. I think all we need is some detailing like some chests and barrels here and there. Ugh, why are they here? You didn't see me. No, you didn't. No, you did not. You did not see me. Maybe if I pretend I didn't see them, they won't see me either. Pro Minecraft. But I think there's still something missing from this area because the floor looks ah, ugly. Get wrecked. Go away. Please leave me alone. You stink. You smell. I hate you. Bye. I'm trying to make a home for a villager here. It's gonna be bad if those guys keep showing up. So anyways, let's make a pretty floor. And then we're gonna add some coarse dirt and this really cute dirt. And then let's add a little bit of grass here and there. I think that's cute. And then we can just make a path and get it to connect to some other path. And when day 113 came around, I completely made a path and decorated it and linked it up to an already existing path. Now all that's left to do is plant some flowers along the path so it looks really cozy and cute. Oh yeah, and we gotta move the villager into his new home. Yay. Oh, and these guys are still here. Yay. Okay, I've taken the villager around the back on the river because that's closer to the sugarcane farm. Come on, villager. Let's go. Come on. Don't leave. Come on, villager. Here's the juicy workbench for you. Mmm. Yes, there we go. This is gonna be easy. Come on, villager. Come on. He's coming. And now we just get him through here. Yay, we got him. 
He likes his new home. Yay. I knew he was a nature guy and wanted to live outdoors. Let's just hope the zombies won't get him. On day 114, I organized my storage while waiting for more sugarcane to grow so I could trade with a villager for mending books. And of course, unlock the name tag trade. Okay, let's trade all this paper. And he's already leveling up. And we also get a lantern trade. I forgot about that. No more iron mining. Let's go. I'm so excited for this. And of course, we can also buy our sweet, sweet mending books yay we have two already oh my gosh and we can buy glass from him and we can sell him squidding i started the next day doing something great which was put mending on two of my tools we have mending let's go and of course we still gotta grind out the trades including the name tags but we gotta wait for the sugar cane to grow and i don't want to wait around for that i want to do something fun and also something serious because i forgot to feed my horses again oops i recently adopted a ton of horses and they need to be fed daily I wonder how they're doing. Oh, that's so terrible. My poor horses and they peed and pooed everywhere. I'm a terrible equestrian. I can't even call myself that. So first, I really got to clean out their stables and I figure out a better solution for them to get food because I will forget again and again and again. So the first thing I'm going to do is craft a wheelbarrow and of course my trident pitchfork. Okay, let the cleaning begin. Let's put this here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then we start with this stable. I hate cleaning. Poo. Ew. Ooh, ew, it's in my inventory. Ugh. Uh, uh, oh, it filled the wheelbarrow. I put the poo in the wheelbarrow. Ew, 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 gross, 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 gross. Oh my gosh, it's filling up the wheelbarrow. Whoa, what is that? Ew, wet compost block. It's a comp. Ooh, the sound. It's a compost block. Do we dry it? What do we do with this thing? Do we put it in a furnace? Oh, we do. I'm a genius. Compost block. Yay, we have a compost block. What is a compost block? Oh, I can turn it into compost. It's like bone meal, but poo colored. Does it work like bone meal? It does. Wait, so basically we can get bone meal out of horse poo. Well, that was very insightful. Now let's go back and clean the stables. I basically spent the whole rest of the day cleaning the stables and giving the horses new food and water. Okay, all the stables are clean. All the horses are fed. And we got four gross compost blocks out of that. I'm just gonna leave them here and see if they dry in the sun. That would be funny. But I also kind of forgot to feed Millie. Whoopsie. And that was the last of my quality hay bales. So I basically want to figure out a more efficient way to get those hay bales. I want my horses to be happy and always fed. So I'm going to create something beautiful for them. But growing enough hay isn't the problem. As you can see, I have tons of it. The problem is crafting it into those hay bales that they need to eat. Because it needs string. And that was my last string. And because staying up all night and fighting spiders is kind of boring. And also a bit scary because of the creepers. I think I want to go into the caves instead and find a spider spider spawner i mean i basically just need to find a mine shaft and a cave spider spawner how bad can that be <laughs> i hate spiders and after a while of caving and digging i basically mined into a mine shaft ew oh no oh no i'm so scared ah! i'm so scared i'm so scared it's actually been years since i dared to go into a mine shaft because i usually play in hardcore mode so going into a mine shaft and facing cave spiders and stuff is not very fun Wait, there are hanging chains in a mineshaft? shaft. Also, I completely walked past this. Hello? I guess now we just gotta walk around uh, the scary mine shaft. Guys, I'm so scared! Ah, it's a zombie! Ah, just kidding, I'm not that scared. I also didn't bring a sword like an absolute idiot. I hate everything about this. And caving sucks too. And everything smells like zombie pee and poo. And after some more stress digging, I finally pulled myself together. Sort of. Get pitchforked, zombie! You stink, you smell, nobody likes you! Smells! Ah! I fell in a cave! Okay, that's not terrible. I'm not scared, I'm not scared of anything. Nope. I'm not going there. Ew, it's an open room. Nope. Give Oh, it's a bat. Oh no. I need to disable this quickly so the stuff doesn't spawn. Please, no creepers. Ugh. Wait, wait! It's a spider spawner! This is actually the coolest find ever. We just found a spider spawner! I won't see the cave spiders this time. So we can turn the spider spawner into a string farm so we can craft more hay bales for my horses. Oh my gosh. What is that? All XP potion and rainbow? And a name tag? And a normal saddle, I don't really need that. And more- what? No way! I grinded a villager for name tags and then I got four name tags. 
That is so funny. On day 118, I ran out of the mineshaft again and back to my base to get all the redstone materials I need to make that spider string farm. Because of course, I didn't bring them in the first place. That would have been a smart idea. Pro Minecraft. I have all the redstone stuff ready, which really isn't that much. But before we go, I really want to try out what this all XP potion does. And I looked it up and it has something to do with the horses. Right now, Millie's stats are like this. Let's see what using this potion does. Okay, made a cute particle. Did it increase something? I forgot. Wait, did it update this? Is she gonna love me now? Yay, she leveled up to committed. She still hates me though. Also, I'm gonna put those name tags here, so hopefully I don't forget to name the horses later. If I forgot throughout the whole video, please yell at me in the comments. And now it's time to go back to the scary mine shaft. Well, sort of, because I'm not gonna go through all the caves and mines again. It would be scary. And that's why I wrote down the coordinates of the spider farm, so I know it's exactly somewhere here. Okay, digging straight down is actually kind of fun. <laughs> Wait, that's the giant big cave in my branch mine. Lol. Why did I say lol out loud? That's so weird. Okay, let's just keep digging and hope we don't hit any other caves. Five minutes later. So I just hit another cave. Are you kidding me? Oh, if this had been a spider spawner. Oh, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, I would have made a farm. Go away. Diamonds. Oh my gosh. Jump XP potion. I can increase Millie's jumping because her jumping is terrible. My inventory is kind of full at the moment, so I will come back for this stuff. I hope I remember. Okay, I've hit another cave, but I think this is the cave where I've been. Yes, when I found the mine shaft. Perfect. Okay, perfect. My drop shaft is here and the farm is right there. Okay, I mined out a little room and dumped all my stuff in here. But before I make the farm, I need to make a water elevator. So on this side, we're just gonna drop down into this water. But on this side, we're gonna have to make a bubble elevator. So first we gotta place blocks straight up again. And wait, I didn't forget, I didn't forget. I'm gonna get all these cool jumping potions and the string. Oh, Millie, I have more potions for you. Her jumping is like this now. Let's give her one. And now her jumping has increased. Look at that. Millie's gonna be an excellent jumper in no time. Now back to the scary spider stuff. Okay, I think this was the hole without the water. So we add this water column to it. And then we could jump down here or we go down this one. I think I'm gonna do it the safe way. I'm still scared. Wait, I'm gonna drown. I'm gonna drown. No, 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 no. No, I'm swimming back up. I'm going back up. Help, 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 help. Oh my gosh. That was definitely not the safe way. Okay, maybe we should fall down here then. But I don't see any water at the bottom. Let's try this again. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Yes. Didn't I place the drop water here? And this was supposed to go there. I'm very confused now. But good that I didn't fall down this hole then. This would have killed me instantly. Okay, but now let's add some science to this. And then we place soul sand in this hole. And I think we need to use kelp to make it a whole water source. And then we go all the way up. Oh god, I'm gonna drown again. No! A lot of drowning in kelp later. I made it! Let's go! Now let's jump down here. Ah, I'm scared. This is fine. I did it. And now technically all we gotta do is break this. And then it should be a water elevator. Oh my gosh, yes! Now comes the next step, the spider farm. And now let's just dig out this entire room. Okay, I'm getting a little bit distracted, but what if we quickly explore this mine shaft and try to get some good loot? I mean, even if we don't find loot, we can get those cobwebs because they look great as decoration. Wait, there are two chests and diamonds. Yay, we got another XP potion thing. Diamonds, golden apple. Okay, that was enough exploring, now I'm scared. Let's go back and make the farm. Okay, now the room is dug out, but I realized I built this way too close to this farm. But I think we can do a quick save by just turning this around to the other side. Whoa! I went up and now we just add the signs on this side and then it should be fine and I covered up the cave and now we have a new room here and it looks like a creepy mine shaft on day 124 I finished digging out the farm and started working on all the redstone stuff there's a creeper hey it's the pitchfork I already added the water stream so now let's add some of these fence gates that will make it easy for the spiders to just fall in and now more water and then down here is the collection system with all the chests and the hoppers to collect all the sweet, sweet string or sticky, sticky string. Gross. And I think now the farm is ready, so we just gotta break those torches and let all the scary spiders out. And for this farm, I used a tutorial by Cayman, link in the description. And now all the gross spiders end up down here where I can kill them for string. But unfortunately, I didn't make a sword. But that's why this elevator is so useful, because we can just go up to my base and quickly get one. And then we just make a sword. And in between slaying those poor spiders, I also started decorating the room. 
I brought this mason workbench so we can turn all the steep slate into different kinds of variants. Okay, how about we add this weird white deep slate kind of texture at the bottom and then some bricks on top. I mean, that looks kind of gloomy, like a scary spider dungeon. I kind of had the idea to make some sort of viewing windows out into the scary caves and into the mine shaft. Okay, I added a tons of leaves and crystals and I think now it's done. So basically we arrive here and it's all about mine shaft vibes and a bit creepy with the cobwebs, but mostly it's like dark gloomy walls mixed with cozy cottage core decor, which is kind of cute. And then we go down these stairs full of creepy stuff and then we can slay the spiders. So I spent day 127 down on the scary spider farm and grinded out some string and at the same time repaired my mending tools. And now that we have tons and tons of string and can get more and more when we kill those spiders, we can finally work on the next part for getting horse food. And I want to make something really cute to grow all the horse crops, aka the hay. And I kind of want to put it like right here in this area, but all these animals are in the way. So I think I'm just gonna go and make some nice custom animal pens, like right here in this corner. Okay, so here we have pen number one. And this is pen number two, so we can put cows in one and sheep in the other. And on day 129, the pens were ready for the animals, so I had to move all of them over. Come on, sheep, into your new home. And now let's get the cows in the other pen. Oh my gosh, the sheep peeking through the blocks. That's the funniest thing ever. Hello, look at me and the animals. And later, we also got to figure out some sort of path to this. But for now, let's continue with project Horses Eat Nom Nom Food. That's such a weird project name. And the next step was to make this messy area nice and flat so I could build on it so it was just a lot of digging and dirt placing that lasted until day 130 oh look who's here wait they broke my cowboy hat how dare they okay that was karma i deserve that well then let's just make a new one and i also heard you can dye them yay oops wait what the heck did i just do <laughs> i wanted to put it on my face it can just place that is so cool oh my gosh yay cowboy hat and i'm definitely gonna make another one and put it here this is so cool and also flatten this entire area so now we can start building so i'm thinking to grow all my crops i need to make a greenhouse and this is where it's gonna go and then we can plant tons of crops around it and on day 131 i grinded out all the spruce wood i need for the greenhouse and of course the greenhouse needs a lot of glass so i smelted all of that too okay now let's start building this Oh my gosh, I almost died from building again. Why does this keep happening? So we have pillars like this and then we can also connect them together using more logs. And then we can take out this fancy stained glass and put it here as a giant big greenhouse wall. And then this here is going to be the entrance. So we can add some stairs and trapdoors to make it look really cute and inviting. And I made a cute little roof over it. And I also experimented with different textured spruce trapdoors and doors. And this one is perfect. It's overgrown. And on the sides, I'm going to add some different textured glass panes. And I put a mix of these kinds of window textures here and I think it looks really cute. But I also put coarse dirt here because now when I surround it with trapdoors, it makes like little cute planters where we can plant flowers and leaves and stuff. Oh, maybe we can just plant crops there. And then we just add a really cute curved little roof on top of this. And now we have the roof shape on both sides. So we just got to fill it in with more glass. And something funny I want to do is add a window in the window. And then we just decorate it a little bit, add some lighting. And that's already a really cute front of the house. And on day 134, I started working on the middle part of the roof, which was basically filling in a lot of glass, which also was really complicated because the walls were also glass. So I had to make it all fit in and mix together. But in the end, it turned out really cool. And we're at Bucket Touch. Ow. And now this greenhouse is so beautiful. It's kind of hard to show you the finished roof because everything is covered by trees, but this is it and it's so pretty. But I think to make this look even cuter, I'm gonna cover the whole thing in leaves like some big vines growing all over it. And now everything is full of leaves like a cozy overgrown greenhouse. So all that's left to do is to do the inside and there's a lot of space to plant stuff. And that's because I don't just want to plant stuff here. I also want to make a second floor and then plant stuff up there too. We just gotta like decorate this with a bit of spruce wood so it's not just a giant floating dirt patch in the ceiling. So we can basically just have a ladder that goes 
all the way up here so we can reach this part. And so we can still reach the crop field here. I'm just gonna make like a decorated entrance using trapdoors. And then we just cover up the ceiling using slabs so we don't see all this dirt mess from down here. And now we just need to get all of these seeds. Let's put a water source up here. And then we just cover it using a slab and lighting so the mobs don't spawn. And then we just turn all of this into farmland. And I basically did the same down here. So now on one level we're gonna plant the alfalfa hay. And down here we plant the timothy. But we still need to plant oat seeds somewhere and I also kind of forgot to plant food for myself. So why don't we hide a water source right in here and cover it up. Okay you can kind of see the water source but when you plant the stuff you won't really see it. And I think I want to put my potatoes somewhere around in this area so we can just have a path going through here connecting to these so we can go up to my base and then we have this little pond here and I want to make farmland around it and then get tons of potatoes. Okay I got a little bit carried away decorating and planting stuff and now we have a little wheat field over here and here we have potatoes but I don't have a lot of potatoes so we gotta wait for it all to grow and now I really need to feed my horses. So basically what I'm gonna do is fill up all of these feeders full of hay and then make sure to remove Move Millie's tag so she can always eat and spot a leaf too. Poor horse. Yay! I'm feeding my horses. I'm not terrible anymore. I completely forgot about the other horses in the stables. And I just got the perfect idea to improve this greenhouse area even more. And that's bees. I don't know if there are any bees in here. But I know you can pick these up using silk touch. Please not angry bees. Ew. <laughs> There's still gross stuff dripping. Ooh. And then we take the honey. Yay. I don't think any bees are in here though. Otherwise they would have come out now. So we kind of have to go on a hunt for more bees. This is a flower forest. So there should be tons of them. Bees. And they love flowers. So I'm just going to lure them over to my base. And let's use that honeycomb to craft our own custom beehive. And added two of those beehives to my crop field. So hopefully the bees are going to live here. I hope they will because they make my crops grow faster. On day 139 I was so happy and jumping around. Because I finally had an easy way to to feed my horses. Well until I realized I completely forgot about something. Because I'm not just bad at feeding my horses, I'm also bad at supplying them with water as you can see. You know I thought making an infinite water source here was smart but they kind of just drank it anyways and I tried to cover it up but it's gone. They drank it all. Like even if I made them a lake they would drain the lake. So we need a much better solution to give water to all these horses. And I've had a look on the swim wiki and there's something like a Bigot. Okay, let's craft this. Look at it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is such a good detailing block. I want this everywhere. But this is gonna help us give the horses infinite water. But it doesn't work on its own. We need to make this a block of water. That is so weird. But it requires all these crazy resources. And we probably need more than one. So I'm just gonna go to the nether and hunt Enderman. I hate this. I'm not scared. Endermen live over there in the warp forest. So we just gotta go there. Enderman, where are you? Oh. There's one. Hello. Die Enderman. Ah! Oh no. I'm too close to him. <laughs> yes, we got one Ender Pearl. Oh, Enderman. And now you die. Get wrecked, you evil creature. I hate you forever. And now we have two Ender Pearls. Ah! No, it's one of those pigs. No, 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 no. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I hit the nether. Okay, now to craft that, we just need to make these weird gold rivets. Oh my gosh, and then we can craft it and we can make two of them. Now let's grab a spigot and see if it works. Millie, are you ready to get an infinite water source? She hates me. Okay, let's get rid of this. And then we put a water trough here and I realized they connect when you place them together. I had no idea, that is like so cool. Then we put the spigot here on top of this wall. And the block of water just needs to be in like a 15 block radius. So if we basically just hide it down here then it should work let's click on it <gasps> yes oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh oh horses come on millie get your water yay oh my gosh this makes me so happy she's actually drinking i love her so much so now i can always put the quality hay in there pump the water from there and then those horses in this enclosure will always be fed but the same thing can be said about those poor horses here and I feel like it's wrong to always keep them in the stables. So I also want them to live in this enclosure, but it's way too small if we add like four more horses to this. But good thing there's this big open area here, so we can just expand this. Also, I just ran out of food and then I discovered that this stuff is still sitting here. So I'm like desperately trying to make it work, but I don't know how. Please. Wait, what if I flint and steal it? Nope. Ah! 
Okay, so now I really want to know how to do this. So I looked it up and I think you need this. I won't rest until I use this grill. And now this better work. Please, stupid coal fuel. Ah! Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh. And then you place the steak. Oh my gosh. I can flip the food. I'm kind of having like a weird SpongeBob moment. I don't know why. It's done. Food from Minecraft. And I'm back to expanding my horse enclosure. I crafted a ton of those fences so we can basically just expand it and there will be enough space to have a path go through here. Okay, this is how big the second enclosure is. And technically we could just open this up and let the horses through. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because my horses are nice to each other. They aren't gonna like fight each other and kick each other, right? Oh my gosh, they're already over here enjoying the grass. I think I'm gonna like plant a tree in here. That would be cool, right? And I'm just gonna put another water trough right here because it's still in reach of that block of water. I think it's like a 15 block radius. So that being over there means this one works over here too. Drink water, spotted leaf, drink water. But I'm also gonna bone meal those flowers and then just add them around here and there because I think they add so much cuteness to this area. And now this is looking really beautiful and the horses have so much space. So now let's add even more horses. Okay, how about you, Graystripe? Oh my gosh, he's already walking out by himself. Let's go, welcome to your new outdoor area. He's going to the water straight away. He was so thirsty. Oh my gosh, and now he's so hungry. But I still need to supply water to those poor horses living in here. Yes, in there. Don't escape bad horse. I'm sorry I love you. But I don't want to put spigots on all of their water troughs. So I found a better way. We just gotta make a hose. And then I'll just hide my second block of water in this floor. Why is the floor transparent? That was so scary! Okay, block of water is here. And now... Yes! Oh my gosh, this is like so OP. This is so cool. We can just go in and fill all the water. I basically spent the whole day 143 looking up some more really cool items and accessories to help my horses have a better life. So first of all, I made some more paddock feeders, which we can set up here all around the enclosure so the horses can eat even more food. And we can use the hay of our first greenhouse harvest for this. And all of these hay feeders will hopefully last for several days. So I can forget about feeding the horses again. Also, I'm bringing all of my horses from the stable over to this paddock so they can enjoy all the new items I crafted for them. Oh my gosh, this place is full of horses and full of horse poo. I crafted all of these weird things and I want to know if the horses can interact with these. First we have a salt lick. Are you gonna lick it? Lick the salt. We're just gonna leave him with that. Lick the salt. And I also made a jolly hay ball. Ooh, it looks so scary. I'm gonna hang this from this tree. I love this. <laughs> so basically we have a ton of weird horse treats and stuff. But we also have a brush. And when you brush the horse, it loves you. I think doing this makes her bond with me even stronger. And I have one more thing to craft. So I need to go back to the nether. Oh, Enderman. Yes. And now we can use those ender pearls to craft a horse whistle. It looks really weird. And this whistle is supposed to do something really cool. I think we gotta assign it to a horse. Like this. And then we use it. It doesn't make a sound, but Millie is coming to me! Oh my gosh! Wait, so basically wherever we are, Millie can hear us and come to us? What if we're over here? Oh my gosh, she's coming. She is so coming over. And I'm so sleeping because I'm scared. Okay, I've been crafting a lot of weird accessories, but one more thing. Also, there's a zombie in my wall and it's driving me crazy. It's here, I knew it! Die creature! Anyway, I want to make these pasture blankets. So my horses are warm and cozy outdoors. We just gotta shear a lot of sheep for that. And then we just need to do this to make them. And then we basically just need to add them to the horse. Oh my gosh, he's cozy. And for you. And one for you. Also, I just had a really cute idea. But before that, I need to do something that I forgot. I said I wanted to use a name tag for my horses. But I kind of never really did that. Get named horses. Okay, and I really want to try if this trick works. Oh, frost fur. <laughs> oh no, it worked. Oh no. <laughs> What have I done? I was so sure this wasn't gonna work. Oh no. First for I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry first for You cannot reverse this. What have I done? Well now I feel terrible and the best way to forget that I just did that horrible thing 
is to start working on a really fun project because I want to build another house for the horses and that's because I want my horses to make a baby. That sounded so weird. But yeah, that's what I want. So I need a special building where the baby and the mom can live. Also completely unrelated, but I made a doormat. But now I grabbed all my resources and now I'm just kind of trying to make my way over to a pretty location. Maybe like here next to the sugarcane farm and the cow pen. Why do I always choose an area that is full of trees when there's literally flat plains over here? Cottage core choices. So I basically spent the rest of the day chopping trees. Day 147. Planning the layout of the build while bumping into trees. I love making these little path block markings to know exactly where my build is gonna go. Also this tree reminds me of a fever dream I had when I had COVID. I'm not scared. And I feel like I do this with every single house I make. I always make logs out of stripped spruce wood in the corners. Totally not obsessed with spruce. And done. And then we'll just make the walls in the middle out of this beautiful wood. I mean, look at those colors. They go really well together. Day 148, still placing walls. Also, do you guys think this color here is blue or green? Like, I can never decide what this is. Brain stopped working. Also, I'm out of warboard and I'm only halfway done. No. I think it's actually good that we get to do a little riding adventure over to that messy area because we still need to bond a lot. But we still have a long way to go until she's gonna stop hating me. Wait, no way. He's still here? A hundred days later? Who are you? You're scary. Go oh, oops. So anyways, let's just start farming all of this beautiful wood. And to no surprise to you, day 149 was just a whole day of farming that warp wood. And now I have all of this warp wood, but I just realized it's day 150. We're like halfway to 200 days, which is exciting, but also stressful because I have so many ideas I still wanna do, like make Millie have a baby. So we better get straight back into building this beautiful house. And I would just decorate these beautiful walls and I wanna make really cute archways like all over these walls. Like these ones in every single one of these areas. But I'm out of spruce wood. Choppy chop time. I literally just saw this. Um, hello? Did they just watch me chop that spruce tree? Oh my gosh, that was so terrifying. I hope they didn't see me. Wait, now they're gone. I'm scared. I basically spent the whole day 151 trying to figure out how to make this build look pretty and how to do the hardest part, building a roof. So basically I'm starting off using stairs and blocks and then I want to transition over into using slabs and then hopefully it's gonna look like a cute barn roof. Oh Millie, how could you? Right in front of the entrance. And that's the kind of round roof shape I came up with. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy when I link up roofs and didn't make any mistakes. And I think I also want to have like a tiny mini roof within this roof like on top of there yay it's cute it's also dark i'm not scared and we also need another color to go in between this and i just had a cool idea i want to make some sort of a stripey pattern using two different kinds of wood types yeah that looks really ugly which is why i'm gonna strip the wood and now it's beautiful! On the start of day 153, I took a little break from building and just rode around with Millie to increase our bond. Ew, there's a traitor in my house. Nope. Ah, they're all, ugh. Yeah, they're all, ugh, aka pillagers. I kind of have a feeling Minecraft wants to tell me to stop procrastinating and riding my horse around and get that build done instead. Okay, I'm doing it! I'm just gonna start working on the front of the roof, which is gonna be a bit difficult because I wanna make another tiny roof on here. Basically just a teeny tiny cute little roof oops and the same thing on the other side i think the wandering trader is glitching what the heck is this i knew it the wandering trader is spider-man i just wanted to get some deep slate because i'm gonna put this on my roof and it's gonna look pretty and if it doesn't look pretty something bad is gonna happen to the wandering trader <laughs> yeah i think it actually is kind of pretty but it's also a very plain roof, so I'm thinking I should add another roof on top of this roof. Roof section. So like some little spruce windows here. And then a roof on top of this. Yeah, now that's looking better. And now we just gotta add the three things that will make this build look really cute. Some windows, a ton of leaves, and of course, lanterns. It's so beautiful now! And now we have even more leaves on the roof. Now we just need to add some nice stable doors and do the inside. It's so funny to me how a build looks cute on the outside, but the exact same blocks look really ugly and messy on the inside without decoration. Let's see if those are gonna fit. Yay! So we have one entrance for 
grass and then another entrance maybe to like an outside area. I already started working on making the interior look prettier by making a platform where ugly mess was that you can't see now. But the ceiling is still an ugly mess so I'm gonna have some sort of support beams going all over it. Yeah like cute arches like this. Ow. And then maybe two more here in the middle. Yeah that is looking much better now. But there are still some ugly spots here so we're just gonna cover it up with leaves and turn it into a cozy cottage girl interior at the same time. Also this ceiling is so full of leaves now, I love it. And now I just need to decorate this cozy place down here starting with the messy floor. And I'm such a big fan of just changing the texture of dirt. Oh, he's here again. Go away. No! No, 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 wait, wait, what is going on? No. Wait, are my bees defending me? No, wait, my bees are gonna die! When they sting someone, they're gonna die! <laughs> wait, bees, 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 hey bees, stop, 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 bees. Bee, stop. Wait, the bee just killed... <laughs> Did you just kill the llama? I'm just gonna kill the llama. Stop hurting my bees. Wait, my bee just died. No, my bees. Okay, that was kind of my fault. Anyway, back to the horse baby stable. And I'm gonna make this floor look really cute. And now we just gotta add all the horse stuff, like a hay feeder. And then maybe like we can separate this area, like where they eat. I'm also smelting my last iron so I can make them something nice. Like more water troughs. And then I also want to make this slow feeder. I don't know what it's gonna do. It's gonna feed them something, I guess. Also, I just learned there's a bridal rack. I don't know if we need that in like a stable for a horse baby, but I just want to make it. I just have to. Okay, why don't we just put this on the wall? And of course, I don't have any bridles on me. And then we add a bridle. Oh, it's cute. I also added all the food stuff in this area and some storage and some benches so we can sit here and watch the horses. But before Millie can move in here, we need to make a lovely outdoor area. My first thought was to like flatten this land again and add tons of dirt here. But how about we incorporate all this land into the outdoor area? I just need to strip tons of wood first. And then we make a ton of these stripped spruce fences. And now we can just attach it to this wall and make a nice big enclosure going up and down this landscape. I don't know exactly how big I want this to be, but maybe until here is big enough, right? And I don't know how I didn't notice before, but we enclosed this giant tree in here too. I think we're just gonna leave it because horses can just like chill under here or something. I don't know what horses do in their spare time. Also, I forgot to add the water inside, so I'm gonna do it out here. But I need another block of water, so back to the nether it is. Yay. Please, 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 yes! And block of water. And then we just hide this block of water. And now the hose. I just love this feature so much. But now we have a cute outdoor area and a lovely stable. So I feel like we're ready to make Millie have a baby. The question is, how do we make Millie have a baby? This whole thing is so weird. So first up, we got to select the dad. And it's going to be gray stripe. This is so weird. Yeah, you guys just stay here and get acquainted or something. They're weird. And I looked it up. And to make them have a baby, you need to feed them rose feed. And you just make that by combining the sweet feed with rose bushes. And we already have that lying around. Let's go. And bone meal. And rose feed. Oh, horses. Gray stripe, come back. You're going to be a dad whether you want it or not. Eat this. Eat this. Oh my gosh, it's working. It's working. Oh my gosh! It's a tiny little horse and it looks so beautiful. Okay, let's bring this little guy into the new stable. And I'm gonna bring Millie in a second. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! And now they're gonna be happy together. Just so that I forgot to add food. Whoops. Oh, come on, she peed in here straight away. How could you, Millie? Millie, you're a mom now. You need to set a good example. You don't just pee on someone's floor. And he's here too. No. And when day 160 came around, I added all the food to the hay feeders, so now we just have to watch the horse baby grow up. And to make this lovely home more accessible, I'm gonna connect it up to my path. And I also forgot to make a path for my sheep and cow enclosures. Many path blocks later. Now we have this weird patch of dirt where all the paths meet in the middle right here and leads to all these areas, including the horse baby stable and the loud and noisy cow and sheep pens. We just gotta add a couple lanterns so the mobs will stay away. And having all these paths leading to all my different builds made me realize how much progress we've already made and what a cute little world we already have. And this world is about to get a lot bigger because I have a really cool idea. 
So far I've built up a massive cottage core horse ranch with a lot of different builds, but there's one thing that's been missing from my ultimate horse mod experience. I just want to get on my horse and ride. And I've done a couple riding adventures, but they've never been really relaxing because of scary caves and stuff nearby. Whoa, that was on purpose. So I want to transform this entire area and turn it into a giant riding path. It's gonna be so good, but of course this needs to be planned. So I took a screenshot of the landscape next to my base and tried to figure out where a nice riding path would go. So like going up a hill and down again, like basically some sort of organic curvy path. And then I realized the shape I made looked like a funny alien, so I had to transform it. I'm just gonna go and ride over to the scale XP farm I made in the first 100 days because I have a feeling this shovel needs to be repaired for all the terraforming that's ahead of us. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave her up there. Bye. And hopefully fixing the shovel won't take that long. Day 162. Murdering skeletons. Many, many skeletons. And now my shovel is completely fixed. And before I go, I think I'm gonna take all of this stuff. I have a feeling we might need it later. And just when I got back, Millie leveled up from committed to trusted. And it takes 11k trusting points to level her up even more. But for now, let's just reunite her with a cute baby. It's so cute. And we have some path making to do. I think for now, I'm just gonna dot these path locks around. So I have some sort of idea where it's gonna go. And now we do a test ride. It goes through here, then down there. And then we go down here and around this tree. And then we do a little curve here and then go go into the forest and then we're going into this little desert patch and I left some dirt blocks there so I know where it's gonna go and then exactly where this cave is gonna be and then through here and it meets back up with this path wait wait oh my gosh oh my gosh is the horse grown up yeah it's grown up oh my gosh the horse grew up I thought that would take like 10 days or something oh my gosh and we gotta tame it too please love me ow ow no Ow! Come on, little horse. Ow! No, Millie! <laughs> How could you kick your own mother? That's so mean. Yay! It loves me. And we're gonna name this guy later. But first, the path. So let's start the path. And uh, more path over here. And we have a very wide path so the horse can run free. And making more paths in the rain. Yay. More path blocks without rain. Yay. I've already done the part where it leads all the way up to this hill and then down here. But for the rest with those giant caves and holes, I'm gonna need a ton of dirt. And I don't know why Millie's in the cow pen. But I'm gonna ride her to a remote location where my render distance from my base is never gonna reach. Because now I'm gonna destroy it. I need dirt, okay? Don't judge me. And by day 166, I had an inventory full of dirt. And this area is very flat now. Oh, hi, Millie. What the heck are you doing? And now we can cover up all these weird holes and continue with the path. On day 167, I basically worked all day. I filled in massive areas using all the dirt I gathered. And I covered up all the nasty caves so I can just ride over them. And of course, I continued making the path. And on day 168, I was basically still doing the same thing because this project is a grind. Day 169, nice. And I've already made so much progress. I think I'm halfway done with the path. Now we just have this bit going through the desert and into the forest back to the farm. And of course, the desert is a bit more annoying because we need to dig the path first, then place all the blocks and then turn them into path blocks. Those turtles looking at me like, why did you do this big project? It's for the horses, all right? Yay, I did the sand bid. Be proud of me, turtles. Be proud. And forest path is done too. Now we can finally cover up this really annoying hole. And now the path is done and linked up. And I only now realized that I could have just used a stone shovel and not my diamond shovel. Because now the shovel is broken. I'm an idiot. And now I'm just gonna test this path and see if Millie can just ride through it without getting stuck anywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. We can just ride around and just be free. This is such a fun riding adventure. Oh my gosh. So now that we know the path works, we can move on to the next big thing. Because just having a path on all this flat land won't do. We need to decorate this. And I'm thinking giant fields. Maybe like flower fields. But first I need to farm some more food for myself. Because making a path basically drained me. And now let's cook all them potatoes. 
And while the potatoes were smelting, I already got some of my bone meals and some of my flowers. So we can test how this is gonna look. I definitely want to have some sort of build here where there's like a circular path going all the way around. So we can put a marker for that here and then plant the flowers around that. And then we could have like this area is full of the lilacs like on every single block. So it's like a thick flower field like this. But we could also separate this area and have different kinds of flowers on this side. And then maybe these over here. And of course there are four kinds of tall flowers. One is missing, the sunflowers. And I think I've been riding past them the entire time. I'm gathering sunflowers while on horseback. This is hilarious. Also Millie leveled up her jump so now she can jump really high. Oh my gosh. And I think we gotta put the sunflowers here where the roses were because they only face in this direction so they can't go anywhere else. I don't think I've ever placed that many flowers in my entire life. And this is only the first field. Okay, this is actually looking so cool when you just come riding in and you just see this this massive field of flowers. And I just realized we don't just have those four tall flowers we can place. There are like tons of other smaller flowers we can place everywhere. Just that we can't get them by just clicking on them with bone meal. We need to farm them, but luckily we live in a flower forest. So I'm quickly just gonna craft all those redstone materials. Well, at least I got most of the resources done. Except the hoppers and I'm out of iron. So let's just go into a cave and look for some iron real quick. Go away. And sweet, sweet iron. Oh, hi. There's a guy here. Woo, spider gross. Ew, uh, ugh. Okay, let's quickly just grab all this iron here before the monsters see us. They saw us. Go away. Ew, a pig. That was random. And thanks to the power of fortune 3, we can get more iron than the 19 ores we got. And now I have my hoppers too, so now we just need to find a place in this flower forest where we can farm most of the flowers. Okay, so it's gonna be hard to get them all, but what if we build the farm in between like those three spawning spots so we can get those two tulips and these? This is basically the size of the farm and we just need to add some pistons to push this platform around and then get some bone meal spammed on there. And now we just gotta set up all this dispenser stuff down here and cover it up. And I need to turn off the block sounds for this one because it's horrible. And now we can turn it on. And I broke it. And I finally fixed it on day 175. And now we just collect all of this stuff. Oh my gosh. And boom, tons of flowers. So now let's spread all of these flowers everywhere. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, hi Millie, where did you come from? And another thing I want to do is plant some trees. That was glitchy. And I got a beehive too. I think that's gonna add a bit more detail so it's not just a bunch of flowers. I think the next step in the flower project is to just cover this entire hill in red tulips. I don't know if I overdid it with the tulips, but it's actually looking really cool. And I used up like six stags. And basically what I just did is try to do like a layout of different flower fields using flowers. And on day 177, I basically spent the whole day placing flowers and it was just really relaxing and I was so excited to see how it would look later. And on day 178 I was procrastinating and just riding Millie around and around on that path while listening to epic music. This is exactly why I made this path because it's so much fun to just ride around with my horse. Okay Millie we have to stop I need to get back to baking those flower fields. Basically one thing I already did was add these little bushes here and there and I think they added so much especially on those small fields because it just looked a bit repetitive. Oh come on, I just wanted to do a nice overview of this field and it started raining! Minecraft, why? Well, this isn't very exciting now, but flower fields, yay. Yay, we just have this one spot missing, so I'm gonna move this farm somewhere so we can... Uh, ow, get other kinds of flowers. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, rainbow over the flower field, go away. Oh, it's so pretty! Look at this field, it's so beautiful. Ah, there's a spider! Ew, <laughs> that ruined the moment so bad right now. So let's just quickly tear this down and move it a couple blocks over so we can get some other tulips and stuff. I'm gonna set up this farm right here in this normal plains biome because here I can get all the normal flowers, like the yellow and blue ones. Yay, it works! And are we getting any flowers at all? Yeah, we're getting those ones and the blue ones. This is literally a flower overload. It looks like some fairy magic is happening over there. And on day 180, I came back to a ton of stuff. Ah! That was scary. I was trying to sleep. 
No! Minecraft keeps shortening my days by making thunderstorms! Go away! No, no. But now we have five more flowers to spread around here. I don't know if we're gonna use all of them, but I'm definitely gonna put those blue ones right here. Ah! Oh my gosh, there's a baby! Ah, no! No, 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 no! Burn to death! Yes! Get wrecked! And I basically placed all of the new flowers here already, and it looks so pretty! I wanted to ride through here with Millie, but I can't find her. Did I lose her or did she die in the thunderstorm? Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, I'm so terrified. Millie? Millie, are you in the flowers? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm literally so terrified right now. It's like, it's not even a real horse, but I'm so terrified for her life. Oh my gosh. Millie? Ten years later. Millie? Wait. Millie? Oh my gosh. Wait, she was here the entire time and I didn't see her earlier. Millie, please never do that again. But now we can ride through here and flowers. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. Let me just go down here and ride through the flower field. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Okay, this scene here literally makes me so happy, but there's just one more thing missing and that's the building that I want to put right there. And since this is like a flowery farmland, I think I want to make a windmill and I'm going to put Millie in her piece stable so she can just think about what she's done i was worried sick okay it's kind of my fault for letting her roam free well anyways let's just go ahead and get some resources for that windmill and i'm also gonna need some white wool for those wheel blades and i've also been smelting some glass and i'm gonna turn that into magenta stained glass panes and i'm basically just gonna put this right here where this foundation is so we're gonna have some bricks here and then those strip logs in the corner and then on top of this i'm gonna make the building smaller so i'm just gonna add a row of stairs on top and then we can add these pretty stacked oak planks and i love the texture so much and i would just add this windmill thing to it like this and then we got to do the blade so the way i do this is i place a fence here and then those wool blocks and then two more of those on top and more wool blocks against them and then basically the same thing on each side just so it faces in a different direction and the last one and now i just gotta do the roof which is basically some sort of cozy round roof like a mushroom cap maybe and then we just add some magenta glass in these windows and i think i'm gonna remove some of those bricks and replace them with stone and i think that's gonna give it a much more detailed texture okay now for the big windmill reveal millie are you ready wait i left a dirt block there how did that happen don't look at it yet don't look at it wait and now that i think of it i think i need to detail these windows a bit more look at this it's so cute oh my gosh we ride past here and there's just this giant windmill oh my gosh it's so cute it's like a little flower farmland i love how i grinded out that area just so i can ride through it with my horse like that's just a real horse girl move wait millie leveled up from trusted to friends we're friends oh my gosh i finally made it we're friends she actually loves me i'm so happy and I could literally spend the remaining 15 days just riding around in this area because it's so great. But there's so much more I want to do for Millie, especially for her jumping. We can always ride around this path later. But first, jumping. And the horse mod actually has a tool that can make custom jumps. Wait, I think I found it. It's the measurement tool and we need these resources. Wait, I'm out of iron again. Let's do another real quick caving trip. Hi, creeper. Hi, creeper. Please go away, please go away, please go away. Ew, child. And iron time. And kelp. And I'm drowning. And now let's make the tool. And I basically have no idea how this works, so let's just try it out somewhere. So I was just placing blocks randomly and clicking around with the measurement tool and being really frustrated because I had no idea how it works, but then I figured it out. So basically all we have to do is have two blocks here with a five block gap, and then we click on it here and on it there and then it opens up this menu like we can have different kinds of layers we can add layers Ooh, look at this a custom jump oh millie that was right in front of me that was gross now let's see if she can jump yay she can jump over it so basically if we make tons of these jumps and have them in a designated jumping racing area or something then millie's gonna improve and max her jumping wait how do i get rid of this now hello 
destroy. And then I basically spent the rest of the day trying to find a good location nearby where the jumping arena could go. And I found this big open spot here in the forest next to the flower farm. And I think it would be okay to fit some sort of riding arena right in between these paths. So now I just gotta lay out some sort of foundation. I want it to be like a round racing track or something. So let the layout making begin. And I've kind of marked out the area where it's gonna go. But of course it's looking super messy so we just gotta clear out all these trees. And then of course flatten this land and terraform it. And quick shovel repair on the spider farm so we can actually terraform without breaking the shovel. It took like a whole day and my shovel's only a tiny bit repaired. But I think that's gonna do. So let's quickly work on this area because we honestly don't even have that many days left and i really want to try this out with millie progress update i placed dirt and now i need to place more dirt and now we have this nice flat area and we can start building this thing first up i'm going to place these leaf walls right on top of my path blocks to create a nice lovely hedge as the outline and now we have this giant hedge and i didn't make an entrance i can't get out pro minecraft and then we're gonna have some sort of bigger platform in the middle where i can plant some flowers and we're just gonna ride around it with the horse and jump i got the middle hedge done now we just need to fill it in with a lot of dirt and the reason i'm using hedges instead of full leaf blocks is because millie can't jump up there so we can just ride around and around without millie accidentally going up some blocks like over here and now i'm gonna tear out this entire floor again i'm an idiot and then I'm just gonna put all this dirt in this workbench and change the texture to sanded dirt. And I'm also gonna kill some cows to fix my shovel because it's almost broken. Day 192, it's raining, yay. And I'm just gonna fill in this entire area with this newly textured dirt. And it's gonna be a really cool racing track color. And now that we have this nice path and the beautiful rainbow, we can start constructing those jumps. And I made it exactly with a five block gap in between so we can actually place those. Imagine if it had been like a six block gap and it would be one block off and it would be so awful. Unintentional pro Minecraft. And I want to have two jumps on each side and Millie's already jumping around. She's excited! So I spent a while messing around with the jumping tool and discovered some really cool features and made really cute jumps. We have a cute simple one with these wavy planks. Then we have one with tiny bushes and one with this weird coop thing. And my favorite one, the big one with flowers. Oh no, I broke it. Let me just quickly fix that. Whoopsie. And now I just want to see if Millie can actually jump over the big one. Yes, she can. And jump. Oh my gosh, we're doing it. This is perfect. And jump. And jump. And I'm quickly just gonna gather some grass from over here. And I'm also gonna turn some stone into buttons. And then we can just leave some buttons and some grass here and there as lovely decoration. This jumping area is looking very nice, but I want to fill this part in the middle and build a very big thing on there. And for that big thing, we're gonna be needing three things. First off, we're gonna need a bunch of jungle wood and I do have some saplings here. So let's quickly grow it over here and bone meal. What the heck? It's glitching. It's glitching. Oh, it's there now. And then we can just chop the entire thing down. And let's do one more tree just to be safe. And I think three stacks are hopefully gonna be enough. Please, please, Minecraft, I'm actually begging you, please let it be enough. Also, please stop spawning pillagers. They're annoying. I'm scared. I hate pillagers. They smell. Okay, let's go and gather more resources. I also need a little bit of black wool. So I'm just gonna dye all my sheep black and then get all the wool. And now it's scary nighttime. So I'm just gonna go and hide in the nether. And the last resource I need is actually only found in the nether. And I'm standing on it. It's the black stone. Is there like a safe location to mine this without those? Yay, I just mined in a straight line and just hit blackstone. Okay, that was very scary, but I have three stacks of blackstone and hopefully that's gonna be enough. Let's run away. And I crafted up some stairs and slabs, so now we can start building. And I wanna build a giant horse statue right in the middle of my jumping area. Well, technically I'm gonna make two horse statues and we're gonna start with the first one here. And it's probably gonna be difficult because I have no idea how to do this. Well, I guess we're just gonna go one block at a time. Okay, I've already made it to the eye. I can do this, I can do this. And so far it looks like a dried seahorse, but I will make this better, I swear. And I think now we can already start adding in the hair. Also, I just realized I did not bring a water bucket and there's like no way down. Oh no, I'm just gonna drop myself down here. Yes, I made it. And bed clutch. Still looking like a dried seahorse, but now with a mane and a cute face. And on day 196, we also had a lovely tail. And now we just gotta add the second leg. And horse number one is done. It's so majestic. I love it. And now we just need to build this over here, but like flipped around. This is gonna be even more complicated to do this the other way around, but I believe we can do it. From Millie. I love her, even though she peed here. Look at them. Millie, do you recognize who that is? 
It's your son as a giant statue. I mean, the statue is like almost this guy, except like the hair, but Blackstone looked better. And now I haven't forgotten that I still need to name that horse baby. And I'm gonna name him Blossom because it's really cute. And it's also a Warrior Cats reference. Totally not obsessed. And lastly, I'm just gonna decorate this area with a bunch of flowers. Oh my gosh, look at this in the sunlight and with all the flowers. It's so pretty. Like, just look at this. And I've also linked up this area to my riding path so we can now access it easily. Ew, there's a spider here. Go away. I think I'm basically just gonna dedicate this entire day to training with Millie and spending some time with her. And of course, level up her jumping. We're very close. We can do it. We can actually do it today. Yay, let's go. Yay. Wait, that was so fast. She already leveled up. <gasps> this is the max. This is the maximum. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, her jumping is so high. Wait. Woo! This is so high. Let's go. Even those guys are impressed. And I'm literally so close to leveling up her friendship too. Like, I don't know what comes after friends. Is it like best friends forever? Okay, the best thing though is to just ride past here and then go in here and boom, jumping. Yay, let's go. That was so good, Millie. That was so good. Yes. Oh my gosh, all the jumps. And then we just go back out and new. back home we go. This is like Mario Kart, but with a horse. Also, look at this view. Oh my gosh, wait, it actually leveled up to best friends. Yay. Best friends forever. And tomorrow is already day 199. And I have a really silly plan for that day. Because today I'm going to do a day in the life of a horse girl. That's me. So basically I just wake up in the morning and I start jumping around my base thinking about all the cool things I want to do today. Then I have myself a really nice breakfast by munching on some potatoes. Then I realize that I forgot to feed my horses for several days in a row again. And while I'm jumping over to feed them, I have really cool ideas. Like building giant houses and stuff. So I run away and do that instead. Then I realized instead of building, I should clean up my messy chest monsters I left behind my house. But because I really don't want to do that, I decide I should feed the horses instead. So I'm going into my beautiful greenhouse and harvesting all the crops for my horses. And then I'm combining all those crops with string in the crafting table and get the quality bales, which is the best food for horses. Then I'm having lunch and eating more potatoes. Mmm. Then I'm filling up all these hay feeders with food and of course give them more water. And before I leave, I always have to say sorry to Frostfur. I'm sorry, Frostfur. I'm really sorry. Also, there's poo in my hand. Then I'm also going over to refill the water for Blossom, the horse baby who's now grown up, and also give him food. And every day I realize I should clean up the pee and poo the horses leave everywhere, but every day I also decide against it because, ew, gross. Then I usually spend the afternoon procrastinating and jumping around and occasionally brushing my horses because why not? And of course, one of my favorite things to do to finish off the day is to get on Millie and just gallop around the wilderness with her. And then when the sun starts to set, I'm reminded of all the things I still have to clean up but never want to do. So instead I'm riding over to my base to spend the rest of the night away from all the smelly horses that I love very much. Just chilling on my couch, eating more potatoes and thinking I'm really cool because I'm wearing a cowboy hat like 24-7. And to go to bed, I'm just randomly placing my bed somewhere in the house and sleep. It's day 200. We did it! 200 days in this modded cottagecore horse world. And I'm just like so happy that I got to meet Millie, even though she's not a real horse, I know that. But it was so much fun to just play with these advanced, improved Minecraft horses and get to know them the more time we spend with them. And now Millie and I are just gonna ride this path full of beautiful flowers forever. And I hope you have enjoyed the 200 days in this cottagecore horse world. And this time we're not gonna ride into a cave. Okay, bye! Oh, I just jumped in the ocean. Okay, bye now.